Welcome back to another Porsche Car Whisper video. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. If you have not seen my other video, my name is Mason Gilchrist and I'm a Porsche fanatic that is sharing my passion with the world every week with all things Porsche. This week on Porsche Car Whisperer, I'll be discussing where Porsche got its start with electric vehicles and how the newly introduced Taycan has roots that date back a lot longer than most people think. The first Porsche built vehicle dates back to 121 years ago to 1898 where the Egger Loner electric vehicle C2 Phaeton or P1 for short was introduced. The code name P1 was engraved on all key components and stood for Porsche number no. one. The P1, designed and built by Ferdinand Porsche, was one of the very first registered vehicles in Austria and first took to the streets in Vienna on June 26, 1898. The highly compact electric drive, weighing just 286 pounds, offered an output of 2.2 kilowatts with up to 5 horsepower in short bursts in an overloading mode, allowing a top speed of up to 22 miles an hour. Not very fast by, by today's standards, but was monumental and fascinated everyone at the time. The vehicle speed was regulated with a 12-speed controller, similar to a transmission in today's cars, with six speeds dedicated to forward, two for reverse, and four to break the car. The car weighed 2,977 pounds, with 1,100 pounds coming from the battery itself. The first test for the P1 came in September of 1899 at the International Motor Vehicle Expedition in Berlin. Surprisingly, there were six manufacturers with eight models to compete in the race, testing performance just over 25 miles. The participants had to navigate a very demanding route featuring large hills while carrying three passengers. A Ferdinand's P1 finished 18 minutes ahead of the next competitor, giving Porsche its first overall win in an electric vehicle. More than half of the other competitors did not finish due to technical difficulties. Fast forward to 2015 with the introduction of the Mission E at the Frankfurt Auto Show, now known as the Taycan. The Porsche Taycan is Porsche's first fully electric vehicle since 1898. It is amazing to think about how much of an engineering marvel the P1 was at its time. The Taycan is every bit of sports car as every other Porsche on the road. It is a very important step in the company's timeline to complete goals for sharing and shaping this future of sports cars known as Strategy 2025. The Taycan has the timeless Porsche design DNA throughout the typical sloping fly line as it is as it flatter appearance than even the Panamera. More closely in line with the sports car icon, the beautiful 911. Currently, Porsche has three different models of Taycan out, starting with the 4S, Turbo Turbo S. The Taycan has come a long way since the roots of the P1. The Turbo comes with 670 horsepower, 500 kilowatts of power, Turbo S with 560. The range of the Taycan varies on driving style and exterior conditions. Current rating for the EPA is 201 miles on a full state of charge. However, expect somewhere in 220 of driving in normal mode and not flooring it regularly, which however gives you such an amazing rush, very similar to a roller coaster as a zero to 60 is conservatively rated at three seconds in a turbo and 2.6 in a turbo S, that's even faster than the 918 hypercar from 2015. All Taycans come with both AC and DC charging solutions. Equipped standard with a 9.6 kilowatt charger, which is enables the car to charge from zero to 100% in just about 10 and a half hours. Offered as an option, a 19.2 kilowatt charger available takes about roughly five hours from a zero state of charge. With the introduction of many DC charging stations at local grocery stores, malls, and even Porsche dealers, the Taycan will charge much faster, charging from a 5% state of charge to 80% in just 22.5 minutes. AC or alternating current is recommended for home use and DC or direct current is used at most mobile charging stations. Porsche is working closely with a company by the name of Electrify America which is investing $2 billion 
by 2027 in EV charging station infrastructure. The Porsche Taycan in the US will come with a three year free trial to electrify America's network of chargers for the first 30 minutes of charging. When charging the Taycan at home, it is recommended to install a home energy manager in the fuse box as an electric vehicle consumes as much as three family households consume in just one year. The home energy manager will significantly reduce the chance of blowing a breaker in your house as it monitors power supply throughout the house and charges the Taycan accordingly based on overall power usage. For example, if many members of the household are up and using their electronics, the energy manager will decrease the amount of power sent to the Taycan, but will then increase as overall power is decreased throughout the house. The Taycan performance does not disappoint on the racetrack, where all Porsches are born, lapping the famous Nuremberg Nordschleife in 7 minutes 42 seconds, which compares to a 997-911 GT3. It's crazy. It's amazing to think how quickly technology is progressing that a family sedan can compete with a Porsche-focused track car. Automotive technology is moving faster than ever. I'm excited to see what the next decade will look like like for electrification with Porsche. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the like button and subscribe for your favorite Porsche content every week. See you in the next one.